Hi everyone. Today I'd like to look at how to handle irrational exponents. So in your notebook, please put down today's subtitle, Irrational Exponents. Now what is meant by an irrational exponent? Well an irrational exponent is an exponent represented by an irrational number. And of course, what is an irrational number? Oh, well, if you remember, remember from your number sets, an irrational number is a number that is never ending and does not contain a period or a repeating pattern. One of the most famous numbers is pi. Pi never ends and doesn't have any repeating pattern in it. So, how do we handle an exponent that never ends and has no pattern to it? Well, you're in luck because the most convenient way is to calculate with a calculator. And of course, because you're dealing with irrational numbers, don't forget to round properly. So here are a couple of examples. What is the value of 2 to the power of pi? Well, if you punch into your calculator and round it to two decimal places, that will give you around 8.82. How about this one? What is the square root of 2 exponent pi? Be careful how you punch this in. If you punch it in properly, I believe this should give you a value of around 2.97. And how about one more? How about 3 to the power of root 2? Again, make sure you punch it in properly, because if you do, you should get an answer of around 4.73. As usual, don't forget that all the laws of exponents still apply. So let's do a couple of examples combining irrational exponents with the laws of exponents. Let's try simplifying the following. x exponent 2, y exponent 3, all exponent pi. Well, based on the laws of exponents, you distribute the exponents and you multiply them. So we get x to the power of 2 pi and y to the power of 3 pi. And you simply leave your answer like that. Let's try another one. How about x cubed and all that squared multiplied by x to the power of pi? Well, first things first. x cubed to the power of 2 gives us x to the 6 and when you multiply that by x to the pi remember that when you're multiplying and the base is the same you add the exponents so we get x and you can simply write 6 plus pi and just leave your answer like that there we go ladies and gentlemen that's all there is to dealing with irrational exponents.